Hey guys, it's Amanda from Feast Fashion Faves, and today I'm super excited to share Diptyque. I got an awesome swag bag, and so I'm going to do a de-swagging of my swag bag, but I got to go into the South Coast location, and I met with the store manager, Justin, and he gave me a little tour of the location, as well as an in-depth look at their recently launched La Collection 34. So I got to take home a few pieces from that collection as well as some other samples. So Justin, the store manager, also gave me this lookbook for the La Collection Trump Cut. And it's amazing. It feels like wallpaper. So I just want to like cherish this and put it in a little scrapbook or something. But it details everything from their um, collection that they recently launched. And so it's just very beautiful pages and photography of their product. And first thing I want to share from that collection is this um, Essence in Sense, I think. I don't know how to pronounce it because I haven't taken French since like middle school. This is their Eau de Parfum. And this is in limited quantities. So if you like the scent, you should snatch it up. And I took a picture of this on my Instagram. So if you follow me on Instagram, you probably saw it. But it is this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous amber bottle. And Justin told me that um, Diptyque works with a, a glass maker and he doesn't this artist doesn't make this for anyone else like they got to go through the archives of old bottles and be able to pick out this bottle for this specific scent um, and I just love this little feature because it reminds me of when I used to like hang out at my grandmother's vanity and check out all her perfume bottles so I just love that kind of like nostalgia you have to twist it to a fan I mean it's refreshing I love it this is going to be my go-to scent for fall. So I'm so glad I got to take this home since it's like a limited edition. It's in this lookbook. And Justin was explaining how they go to a local grower in France and they ask, what did you have excess of? And so this season, it was the Autumn Jasmine. So that is what's in here. And it is an absolutely like intoxicating scent. This is very feminine and sexy and I love it. So the next thing is this um, Bougie Parfumé candle. It's a scented candle. I believe it's Le Pouveresse. Anybody? Any takers? Pronunciation? Please help. And these were one of the standout candles for me. I was so excited that Justin had included this in the swag bag because it has an amazing marble-like texture to it. So this candle is made of fig and cypress trees and it's kind of like a hint of that holiday season smell, like almost like the pine trees. What's really cool about this pot is it's a ceramic pot and each one is different because they're like handmade, handcrafted in Portugal. It says in the lookbook it takes up to three days for each pot to come to life. So it's just so beautiful how it has that kind of like marble look to it. But the inspiration for this scent is that one of the founders had a house in Grasse, France and there was this pathway that um, was lined with fig and cypress trees. I got another one of their scented candles and this is like the really mini size. It's so stinking cute. I mean, hello. And this is their 34 cent. So they have a lot of different products in this scent. So these two samples come from a um, trio. They have these beautiful glass bottles which, and um, each glass bottle is different. There's this whole glass blown process where the bottles are blown and then they're like immediately put into cold water to get that cracked effect. I received Homage, which has a green um, bottle topper on it. And Opone, which is, it has like a white topper. Got the um, Le Du 34. So this is an eau de toilette and um, it's their 34 cent. So it's just like the candle that I received. 
So this scent has a really interesting story and I was just so enraptured by all of it. The original store a few years back, like before 2010, was completely shut down for a couple days and then every like candle was lit, every diffuser was used and this scent is what is the result of all the scents mixed together in the store. If you want something truly, truly unique to the brand, you need to get this scent. So that's it for the 34 collection. And then Justin kind of like helped me find my scent in the store because that was my first time in Diptyque. And I was obsessed. But what he came up with for me is Florabellio. He was listing all the ingredients in it. It was like, this is me down to the T. So what I usually wear is Ralph Lauren Romance and so that doesn't really have any like floral or fruit scents and so I liked that what he found for me um, is really like a mixture of everything that I like so it has apple blossom, um, sea salt spray and then coffee, sea fennel and then it also has marine accord which I don't know what that is but it is an amazing scent like I just get a little bit of everything and I love it so I don't want to use up all my samples, but I'm probably going to use it because it's like one of my favorite scents because it's me. And so when I do need to get the big bottle, I'll go get the big bottle, which is beautiful. I just love all the artwork that goes into like each label and everything. So I'm in love with Diptyque, new fave store, and I will leave all the information that you need to know about their La Collection Trunk Cat or 34 and link to their site. So if you are an avid user or just started using Diptyque, please let me know what your fave scents are. Um, I'm just getting into this and I want everything in that store. I mean, even their diffusers are like super cool. So I know they're really popular for their candles. So if you have any of their candles, leave a comment. Thanks for watching.